Theo Walcott has announced his retirement today at the age of 34. He left Southampton at the end of the season after their relegation. He's a, a two-time FA Cup winner, 270 appearances for, uh, for Arsenal, 400-odd career appearances. His career defined in many ways by a, a transfer and what happened to him in 2006, leaving Southampton uh, the first time that was and moving to Arsenal. The shock England World Cup call-up then followed. Um, a, a terrific career and, and, and really that early period for Theo Walcott almost defines the narrative around his whole career. It does. I've given my age away a little bit here, but I, I, <laughs> I remember thinking, oh my gosh, there's only a year's difference. He's going to Arsenal when I was in school. I was like, wow. What are you doing? Well, <laughs> delivering newspapers. Not, yeah. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with delivering newspapers, by the way. <laughs> one of my first jobs, actually. Um, but I will say this. I feel like he was one of the original wonder kids. Yeah. And, right. and you know, you, you, you see players thrust into the limelight um, really early age, a lot of high expectancy. And actually, we were talking off, off air, weren't we? Over 400 career uh, appearances. I kind of wanted him to be in the Premier League 100 club. Mm. I think he got about 80-odd goals. I think for a player of his talent and longevity in the end, it would have been nice to see him um, in the Premier League 100 club, just to have that as well yeah. to add to his career. But um, when he got called up to the, to the England squad and then, you know, being in Arsene Wenger, a sign-in, and it, it, was just, it was just fantastic to see him do that at the time and I mean one of the questions I ask you guys do you, do you think he fulfilled his potential I think you you can say he did and and didn't to a certain extent because I think at Arsenal going there at the age of 16 is is a huge move and like you said one of the first moves that we ever saw getting the number 14 shirt I think that added a lot of pressure because people are like okay Thierry Henry 14 Walcott 14 you've got to give goals but he never really lived up to that expectation in terms of, you know, scoring week in, week out. But he added to, to an Arsenal side that at the time, I would say they were, they were going for a rebuild and he was a, a, a figurehead in that as well. And then the clubs he moved on to Everton and Southampton scored some big goals for Everton when they were trying to stay um, in the Premier League as well. But uh, one thing I'd like to say is that people are shocked to the fact he's retired at the age of 34. He burst onto the scene at like 16. <laughs> give him you, a break. You did yeah. say you know as well, to be fair, that you thought maybe he'd go somewhere else for, for a year or two, a stay yeah. in another country, perhaps. Are you surprised maybe that, that he's not done that? Yeah, I am surprised. But then when I when I saw those stats about him coming at 16 and in and around Southampton squad, um, so young as well, I think he was their, their youngest ever player and the youngest ever player for England as well. It's a lot of time playing at the top of the top of the career, game, yeah. exactly. So I'm sure he's just, you know. You might just yeah. want to rest. You might yeah. just want to, yeah. want to kick yeah. back for a year. 34 is not very old, is it? Oh, but when you've been career. going since 16 yeah. years old, yeah. Yeah, he, he has said that he's he had offers to continue playing, including from from Saudi, but it just wasn't right for him, and it, it felt the right time to hang up his boots. So congratulations, yeah, Theo. Wish him all the best yeah. on yeah. your Absolutely. career, and maybe Correct. we'll see you in the building. Imagine, yeah. it'd be a good pundit. <laughs> <laughs> very good.